Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this video, we can look to dividing rational expression and we're going to have a rational expression involving polynomial like this. So let's take a look on number 13. We have x plus 2 over x minus 1 divided by the quantity 4x plus 8 over 3 minus 3x. And we're going to change that division in multiplication. And we're going to use the reciprocal, we're going to flip the second fraction, 3 minus 3x over 4x plus 8. And uh, if you remember, we did that in a previous clip, we multiply rational expression. We're going to do that here by factoring out, right? We really do not multiply, we factor out. And here we have 3 times 1 minus x, and here we have 4 times x plus 2, right? Look at here, this x plus 2, this x plus 2 cancel out, but also, also, x minus 1 and 1 minus x cancel out. Be careful, this will be a negative 1. 1 minus x and x minus 1 are opposite. So that's the reason when they cancel out, we have negative 1. So let's see what is the final answer. We have 3 over 4 times negative 1. Well, that will be negative 3 over 4. This is the final answer for number 13. Go ahead and try number 14. Pause this video clip. If you end up with negative 1 as an answer, then you did a wonderful job. If you notice, everything cancel out. Uh, be careful of 2x minus 3 and 3 minus 2x. They are opposite, so that's the reason we have this negative 1. Yeah. And when we say everything cancel out, that means we have 1, or in this case, negative 1. What about number 15? And also number 16. You see, it's the, sky, it's the same idea. More complicated rational expression, but... Factoring is the answer. But let's do the first step. 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 over x squared minus 9 times 4x plus 2 over 4x squared minus 1. Right? Now let's take a look to uh, the factor form. And some of them are pretty easy, like x squared minus 9 is x minus 3, x plus 3 difference of square. Uh, 4x plus 2, we have 2 times 2x plus 1. And what about 4x squared minus 1? If you notice, that one will be 2x minus 1, 2x plus 1. That is a difference of squares. Uh, so we have one more, which is 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 I'm going to do here the factoring uh, like this. And uh, I'm looking, should have 2x and x. You should have 2x squared and 1 and 3 here, right? Uh, that's probably one way to see this problem and probably is the only way. And let's take a look. Oh, this should be minus both of them, right? So we have... 2x minus 1 here and x minus 3. And now we can do the simplification like we did in a previous example when we multiply a rational expression. So let's take a look here. 2x minus 1, 2x minus 1, right? x minus 3 here and x minus 3 here. Uh, and 2x plus 1 here and 2x plus 1 here. So um, the final answer is what? 2 over x plus 3. This is the final answer for number 15. Pause this video clip and try number 16.
If you end up with 1 over x minus 2 for number 16, then you did a wonderful job. You notice uh, here I factor out x squared minus 6x plus 8 is x minus 4 times x minus 2. Uh, x squared minus 16 is difference of square. x minus 4 times x plus 4. Um, then this guy here is this second rational expression. The reciprocal of that, uh, you see x plus 4 now becomes a numerator and x squared minus 4x plus 4, that is a, a perfect square, which can be x minus 2 squared or x minus 2 times x minus 2. After that simplification, and this is the final answer. If you enjoyed this video clips, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back and see squared for more math video clips. Thank you.